What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to record an acoustic guitar to your DAW. This way you can have an excellent acoustic guitar tone recorded onto the songs you're working on. Now the first thing we'll want to do is connect our interface to the computer. For this first setup we'll be using our very own RockU Mini interface. So we'll take the included USB cable and plug the USB B end into the interface. Then you'll take the other end and plug it into your computer or in my case the USB hub. Next, we'll want to go into the sound settings of our computer and switch the input and output device to the interface you're using. So we'll start with doing that for the output device, so we'll click on output. Then you'll see a list of different devices we can use, so I'm going to hover over the one I want to be using, which is the RockU Mini, and just click on it to set it as the output device. Then I'm going to do the same exact thing for the input device here, hover over the RockU Mini and click on it to set it as the input device. We're also going to want to do this on the sound settings of whatever DAW we're using as well. So we'll click on the output device, hover over RockU Mini and click on it. And you'll see as soon as I switch the output device, the input device automatically paired to the RockU Mini as well. Now the easiest way to get a good representation of your guitar sound is with a one mic setup. In this setup, we're gonna point the microphone in the middle of the guitar where the neck meets the body. And you also wanna place the microphone one foot away from the guitar. This will give us a nice balanced sound of the high and the low end. So next we're gonna wanna choose a microphone that we wanna use for our setup. There's a variety of different microphones you can use to record like dynamic microphones, small or large condenser microphones, or ribbon mics. Each of those have their own characteristics and have different ways of picking up sound. So it all really depends on the tonality you're going for when recording. For today we'll be using a condenser microphone which will give our recording a very rich sound. Now keep in mind whenever you're using condenser microphones that you have to activate phantom power on your interface to power your microphone. So now we'll connect our microphone into channel 1 on our interface. Activate phantom power for the condenser mic. We'll do this by flipping the 48 volt switch on the back of the RockU Mini. And you may also want to activate the pad switch here depending on how loud you're going to be playing. So now we'll go into our DAW and create a new track. We'll set the input to input 1 since we're using channel 1 here on our interface. We can even click on the name and rename it Acoustic Guitar. And then we'll want to raise the level knob on channel 1. So now we'll grab our guitar and make sure our microphone is set up properly. So now we'll play a little bit to make sure we're getting proper levels. So we can tell that was a good level there because our signal wasn't getting into the peaking stage. But if your signal ever does get to that clipping stage, all you'll want to do is adjust the level knob until you're getting a clean signal. So now we're all set to hit record and lay down some guitar. Now another way we can record some acoustic guitar is with two microphones. There are a few different techniques out there you can use when recording with two microphones, including the classic AB setup, which we'll be showing you in just a second, the XY setup where you place two microphones on top of each other while facing away at a 90 degree angle. There's also the MS approach where you take a cardioid mic and place it in front of your sound source. Then you would take a microphone with a figure eight pattern and place that right underneath your first mic. And then you would wanna make sure that your second microphone is placed sideways so that it's capturing your source in stereo. And then there's the Ortif approach where you place two microphones 110 degrees away from each other like so. Now in the AB setup that we're using today, we're going to take one microphone and point that lower on our guitar to get the low end, and then we're going to take the other microphone and place that higher up on our guitar to capture the high end. Now for this setup, we're going to be using these two small diaphragm pencil shaped condenser microphones, which is very common when recording acoustic guitar because they have a better frequency response and pickup pattern. Fun fact about these condenser microphones, they can actually be found in our Pro D7 drum mic kit. But remember, you can experiment and use any two microphones together to get the sound that you want recorded. Now when using two microphones to record like this, you want to keep the 3 to 1 rule in mind. The 3 to 1 rule basically helps avoid any phase issues, which would result with your recording sounding thin, lacking, or uneven when using two microphones. And because we're using two microphones in the setup, you'll want to use an interface with two microphone inputs like our very own R-Track 2x2. 
Now what you'll want to do is have both microphones three feet apart from each other and one foot away from the guitar itself, hence the three to one rule. You can always use a ruler or a tape measure to check your distances. And remember, we're gonna have one microphone set towards the bottom of the guitar for the low end and one microphone set up higher around the neck for the high end. So now we'll want to go back into our DAW and make a new track, set the input to one and two since we're using both channels on our interface. We can rename the track to Acoustic Guitar Neck and Acoustic Guitar Body. So we'll go ahead and connect both microphones into both mic inputs on our interface. If you haven't already, we'll want to activate Phantom Power on both channels and then raise the level knobs for each channel. Next, we can play a little bit on our guitar and check the level to see if it's good. There we go, that looks good to me. And next, all we have to do is hit record and lay down some guitar. Now on other DAWs out there, you can follow the same approach where you make one track for both microphones, or you can set up two tracks for each microphone and set the input for each track. For demonstrational purposes, we set up a track for both microphones, so we're going to record that sample again so you guys can hear what's going on with each microphone. Now if your guitar has a built-in pickup and an XLR or quarter inch output, you can use that to record your guitar right into your interface. So because the guitar I'm using today has a quarter inch output, I'm going to use a quarter inch cable. I'm going to plug one end into the quarter inch output on my guitar. Then I'll take the other end and plug it into a channel on my interface. For today we'll use channel 1. Now most acoustic electric guitars like this one here have a gain knob and a 3-band EQ. So I'm going to raise the gain knob just a little bit to send the signal from the guitar out to our interface. And then we can use the 3-band EQ to shape how we want the guitar to sound, but for today we'll leave it at a flat EQ. On top of that, we can set up a microphone to pick up some extra definition of our guitar. So I'm going to place my mic right where we had it before, in the middle where the neck meets the body. So now we'll go into our DAW and create a new track. And again, we'll set the input to 1 and 2, and rename the track Acoustic DI and Acoustic Guitar Mic. So now I'm going to activate Phantom Power for my second microphone here. Then I'll want to raise the level for both of my channels. So next all we have to do is check the level on our track, which is all good to go, hit record, and lay down some guitar. So again, because we recorded those two signals on the same track, we're going to record that sample again and show you what's going on with one thing at a time. So now because we showed you all these different techniques and approaches to recording acoustic guitar, feel free to experiment and try different things out to get the sound that you want out of your recording. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to record your acoustic guitar into your DAW, but of course if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.